Like each of the others, Adobe Spark is pretty intuitive. It's the newest one, and um, definitely I'm just still scratching the surface of learning to play with it. But basically you do the same thing where you can log in with uh, Facebook or Google. And here I log in with Facebook, of course. And I've got some projects here, as you can see, that's already been made. I've been using these for these review videos and stuff. But I find that, like, um, probably the most effective thing is to tell a story. So I recently did one with the, um, the old dogs, new tricks and everything. But let's start one from scratch. Um, let's pick. So I've got a script I'm going to make a new video with. And there I pick uh, video. And Spark does what it needs to to set things up. As with the other ones, it's got some pre-made template. Um, but it basically starts off giving uh, you prompts to guide you along the way. So for this one, I'm going to make this using photos to tell your story. It's actually uh, based off of an uh, article for a friend and stuff. So, and so here it gives you some story templates just to, again, get you to kind of go along even further. Um, so I'm looking at these. And I really feel like the first one actually promoted an idea is really, um, you know, the one that matches the most. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that. And it goes, once again, loads what it needs to, to for the next step. So now we're getting down from the basic ideas into the, uh, more layouts and the uh, the different things. So, uh, as based on what we chose, uh, Spark gives you an overall kind of structure, and then now we can also pick a look for it. Um, and with mine being about uh, the idea of uh, using photos to tell a story, um, I want to pick something that's a little bit more fun. Uh, yet uh you know like visually interesting and stuff um so let me pick uh let's see here uh playful that might not be bad um slideshow possibly and wander maybe so i'm leaning actually between slideshow and playful um I might give Slideshow a try, because that's one that's kind of, I think, going to match the best. Let's see how that one looks. So I pick that. And here, uh, basically, uh, Spark asked me for the first line of what I'm talking about. <clears throat> and for this one, I'm going to read... Uh, These days, it seems like no one keeps photo albums, even though we take more pictures than ever. These days, these days it seems like no one keeps photo albums, even though we take more pictures than ever. That's it. So I've got the uh, first few seconds. These days it seems like no one keeps photo albums, even though we take more pictures than ever. So it's got a whimsical music and uh, I'll go with it for now. I might change it to something else. Let me first pick a photo then. And once again, we have the option of being able to kind of find photos or load, upload our own. So let's go taking photos. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Some nice ones. This one's a little kind of racy. Um, I'm liking the ones here where it's like kind of the person pointing. And I'm leaning towards that one. So this one's kind of fun also. But uh, yeah, let's try this one next. Well, actually, I think what I want is actually someone a little bit older taking photos. Let's see if we can find somebody. It's 
So basically I'm going to type in some words. Let me just go ahead and pause this a second here. Okay, so I picked the photograph here and then now I go on to the next slide. And pretty much do the same thing. And I'm going to stop it here for a second, just basically that I'm going to continue on with the uh, rest of the slides the same way. Okay, so I'm done making the slides, and uh, I can actually even rearrange them. Um, but, uh, you know, like I like what I've uh, basically created. I can preview. These days, it seems like no one keeps photo albums, even though we take more pictures than ever. Remember how we used to take out those embarrassing moments? Now they live forever on the internet. Have you tried so yeah, I pretty much uh, like how this is turning out. At this point then, I just go ahead and click share. And that's pretty much it. So that's how you use Adobe Spark to create uh, videos um, really easily.